my mind, body, and soul knows that it wants to wear pressed pigments and dazzle shadow eyeshadow. So I pulled those out. But really, what I've been thinking of is there's this in the Danessa Myricks Lightwork palette, and then I think it's a necromancy color. I keep seeing this, literally this color, with like a little bit of this shift on top of brown all over the place. And I want it so bad, I put it in my cart, but shipping is like $30, and I'm like, Megan, you know better than that. Use what you have. And I love going back to these. So I'm with, I think I'm gonna do that eye today. Magic Radiance Fix Plus pre plump the skin. That's me telling my skin to wake up. Eyebrows, 24 hour eye base. Helps to laminate them down. Trolley oil, whoa. Keep them pressed. It's 6 a.m. by the way. A nice little layer. Pro Locked Brow Gel. Back comb to coat the hairs. When you do this, it will look chunky because the two formulas are mixing together. When you go to lay them flat, they disappear, so don't be scared. Brush them up. Flip. This is a laminating side. Lay them flat. I woke up 10 minutes ago. All I did was do my hair really quickly. My skin is just so beautiful. Brush them up, lay them flat. I don't feel like getting a new wipe, so I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of stay over on an old wipe that is sitting here, just to clean up any extra that's on the skin. On the eyelid, it doesn't really matter, but around the edges, it matters, because that will mix into your foundation and look weird. Eye boogers, open a brand new thingy from House Labs. I'm just gonna put it on right now. I misplaced my lip conditioner. Skincare prep step number one, Hyperreal Serumizer, okay? This is why my makeup looks as good, good as it does. This helps with the texture on the skin, the brightness of the skin, softness of the skin. You'll go through a purge period. If you have to use something else like that has niacinamide in it to work your way up, you can. I've been on Serumizer for, I feel like it would be going on three years now. Two and a half or three consistently either this or the balm and the cleanser and the cleansing oil every single day uh the only thing i really changed was i stopped washing my face in the morning that made a huge difference because it doesn't strip the skin and then i'm gonna put the serum from provage on my eyes 24 hour eye base because it's literally the best primer in the entire world i don't care what anybody says this will control the oils on your eyelids this will give something for the shadows to blend on top of. This will give proper color payoff to your shadows. Spending 20 minutes in the morning doing your eye makeup, spending five minutes, who cares? Spending five minutes in the morning doing your eye makeup to have it disappear in 10 minutes is a waste of your time. So just put this on. I told myself I was gonna wash my brushes and I did not. Um, this is Groundwork Paint Pot. And yes, you can use Paint pots when they look like this still, you don't have to do anything to them. It's a long wearing um, cream shadow. Anything long wearing waterproof over time will shrink because the air has gotten to it. It has to be in glass bottles to be as airtight as possible. Groundwork is, makes me so happy. One of my first loves and now a forever love. I'll just pull it up into my eyebrow area, but then just tap the rest out. It's like if Sandstone and Wedge had a baby. I'm gonna take I Like to Watch, which it's not even a slept on color. It's just a stunning color. And I'm gonna press it in the middle as a highlight because this will basically highlight under the next shade. I also really, so cranberry makeup is a trend or trending, that tone is trending. And I wanna wear it so bad, but I'm just not ready. This was an old color called Let's Roll, which is probably one of my most favorite shades in the entire world. Nobody liked it though. Of course not. Yes, this is exactly it. Because red and green neutralize each other. So you get a really pretty shift. So that glow that you're getting from, you're left with a little bit more of the yellowy tone underneath as opposed to the green. I'm gonna buff the edges out. Going a little harder with the red. You can see right there where it's more red compared to what that looks like of the green. I feel like this calls for Costa Riche, which really looks good on so many different eye colors. I also brought out Brun 
eyeshadow and I'm gonna use my favorite eye brush, the 221. And I'm gonna use this to smoke out the eye. I'm gonna do a little in the outer corner and then I'll take a mixture of wedge and sandstone, buff that up. I don't think I want the smokiness everywhere. I'm gonna take carbon on a Melt 26 brush just to deepen this little outer corner. Blend it with the 221. My favorite black Melt eyeliner pencil. I'm going to tight line with it. I was watching um, Erin Parsons tight line her eye and she just made such a good point. Like if you have overly sensitive runny eyes, there really isn't a solution because it's the eye itself. There's no pencil that's so perfect that all of a sudden you're gonna be comfortable, you're gonna be comfortable touching your eye or having a product in such a like specific area. I said true. An eyeliner is not going to magically allow you to tight line if your eyes are sensitive. I'm gonna do Costa Riche on the bottom as well. I think this paint pot is eight years old. It seems really long. That can't be right. I'm gonna take groundwork on a 217 to buff out Costa Riche. Oh my God, I love that. Darken in here. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna put a little more of I like to watch. Obsessed. I'm gonna curl my lashes up at the root and then work your way up. And if your lashes don't hold a curl, it means your mascara is also a little too thick. So just because something is like volumizing, if you have more brittle straight lashes that can't hold a curl, your mascara needs to be a lot lighter in formula. That's why I always love Magic Extension mascara. It is more lightweight little fibers. Extended play on the bottom. If you need to go back in and just add more brow gel, you can. I was at the cosmetic company store last week. I got another five 86 lashes. So I got a I got a good stack going right now. Love. This for me is like a soft smoky eye. I need to clean up the edges because I need to see what shape is actually going on. Because I generally don't love this shape. Clean as you go. I need to lift where the smokiness is a little bit. So I'm gonna take Coquette, which is like an olive brown and just darken in this area. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Just a brush that had concealer on it. I'm just gonna buff this around. I need the shine to be more metallic. So I'm actually gonna go in through the middle Let's roll wet. And you know what I'm gonna throw on top of it for just even more craziness is P is for pink. To, yeah, to give it a little bit more dimension. Yeah, that's a little bit closer to what I want. The shape is so boring. It's like a Miss Megan basic smoky eye. I would have much preferred to have this like slathered everywhere, but I just didn't feel like committing to that today. I'm gonna do my skin in a separate video for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed and watched. I hope that you enjoyed and what? I hope that you enjoyed watching me go through this process. Do not forget, use what you have first. Shop your stash. You will enjoy your makeup so much more. And then when you choose to buy something, it's even that much more exciting. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Go to my free school if you like more makeup education type of content. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on both TikTok and Instagram, all under the same name, at Miss Megan Robinson. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.